In the heart of Whispering Woods, where the ancient trees whispered tales of time, there lived a woodpecker named Percival. Percival was not an ordinary woodpecker, he possessed a peculiar ability that set him apart from his feathered friends. While most woodpeckers spent their days drumming on tree trunks in search of insects, Percival could understand the language of the trees. From a young age, Percival had felt a deep connection with the towering oaks and majestic pines that surrounded his nest. His beak, adorned with vibrant red and black feathers, was not only a tool for finding food but also a conduit for communicating with the spirits of the forest. The other animals in Whispering Woods admired Percival's unique gift, and they often sought his guidance when faced with challenges. One crisp morning, as the sun painted the sky with hues of orange and pink, Percival woke up to an unusual rustling in the leaves. The trees were agitated, their whispers filled with urgency. Percival tilted his head, trying to decipher the cryptic messages that echoed through the forest. The balance is shifting, murmured the wise old oak near Percival's nest. Darkness stirs beneath the roots, and the harmony of the woods is in peril. Percival's heart fluttered with concern. The delicate equilibrium of Whispering Woods was the key to its enchanting beauty, and any disturbance could have grave consequences. Determined to uncover the source of the disturbance, Percival set out on a journey through the dense foliage. As he flew from tree to tree, the forest seemed to close in around him, enveloping him in an eerie silence. It was then that he heard a faint cry for help. Following the desperate plea, Percival arrived at a clearing, where an ancient willow stood, its branches drooping with sorrow. Oh, Percival, sighed the willow, its voice like a gentle breeze. The heart of the woods is afflicted. An ancient relic, the crystal acorn, has been stolen by a malevolent force. Without it, the very essence of whispering woods is fading. Percival's eyes widened in realization. The crystal acorn was a sacred artifact that held the magic of the forest within its crystalline core. It was said that the acorn could only be touched by a pure spirit, and its theft posed a dire threat to the balance of nature. Determined to restore harmony, Percival vowed to retrieve the crystal acorn and embarked on a quest that took him deeper into the heart of Whispering Woods than ever before. The journey was fraught with challenges from treacherous swamps to towering cliffs, but Percival pressed on, fueled by the urgency of the task at hand. Along the way, he encountered a wise old owl named Orla, who had perched on a gnarled branch, her eyes gleaming with ancient knowledge. Orla spoke of the enchanted grove, a mystical realm hidden within the depths of the forest, where the crystal acorn had been taken. Legends whispered of a guardian spirit, a mystical stag with antlers aglow, who protected the grove against those who sought to misuse its magic. Guided by Orla's wisdom, Percival ventured into the heart of the enchanted grove. The air shimmered with ethereal energy as he navigated through the ancient trees, their trunks adorned with luminescent moss. The ground beneath his talons felt charged with magic, and the closer he came to the heart of the grove, the stronger the mystical aura became. As Percival approached a clearing bathed in soft, golden light, he saw the guardian spirit, a majestic stag with antlers that glowed like the moon. The spirit, named Sylvanus, greeted Percival with a nod, his eyes reflecting the wisdom of centuries. You seek the crystal acorn, young woodpecker, Sylvanus intoned. But its theft was not an act of mere greed. It was an act of desperation by a creature consumed by darkness. To retrieve the acorn, you must first understand the turmoil within the heart of the thief. Percival listened intently as Sylvanus unraveled the tale of Erebos, a shadowy creature banished from the enchanted grove centuries ago. Erebos, driven by an insatiable hunger for power, had resurfaced and stolen the crystal acorn in a misguided attempt to reclaim the magic he believed was rightfully his. To reach Erebos and retrieve the crystal acorn, Percival needed to traverse the shadowed veil, a realm where time flowed differently, and reality itself seemed to warp and twist. 
Sylvanus bestowed upon Percival a luminous feather, a gift that would shield him from the distortions of the shadowed veil. The woodpecker entered the mystical realm, where shadows danced across the landscape, and the air felt heavy with an otherworldly presence. As he journeyed deeper, the fabric of reality began to fray, and he found himself facing illusions and mirages that tested his resolve. In the heart of the shadowed veil, Percival confronted Erebos, a creature cloaked in darkness, his eyes gleaming with a twisted desire for power. The crystal acorn lay beside him, its once vibrant glow now dimmed. Why do you persist, little woodpecker? Erebos sneered. The magic of the forest belongs to me. I will not let go of the crystal acorn. Percival, undeterred by the darkness that surrounded Erebos, spoke of the delicate balance of whispering woods, of the interconnectedness of all living things. He urged Erebos to let go of his misguided quest for power and embrace the harmony that had sustained the forest for centuries. As Percival's words resonated, a glimmer of realization flickered in Erebos' eyes. The darkness that had consumed him began to recede, and he looked upon the crystal acorn with newfound understanding. Slowly, he extended a shadowy hand and released the stolen artifact. The moment Erebos let go, the shadowed veil quivered, and reality began to knit itself back together. The distorted landscape returned to its natural state, and the crystal acorn regained its radiant glow. With a grateful nod to Percival, Erebos dissipated into the shadows, his spirit finding peace at last. Percival, now cradling the crystal acorn in his beak, returned to the enchanted grove, where Sylvanus awaited. As he placed the sacred artifact back in its rightful spot, the entire grove erupted in a symphony of light and sound. The magic that had been stolen was now restored, and the heart of Whispering Woods pulsed with vitality once more. Sylvanus, the guardian spirit, thanked Percival for his bravery and wisdom. The woodpecker, humbled by the experience, realized that the true magic of the forest lay not just in artifacts like the crystal acorn, but in the bonds forged between its inhabitants. As Percival made his way back to his nest in Whispering Woods, the trees whispered their gratitude, their voices filled with a renewed sense of harmony. The woodpecker, now a revered figure among the creatures of the forest, continued to use his unique gift to ensure that the delicate balance of nature endured for generations to come.